Hello everybody. Happy Sunday. Oh, how are you guys doing? I hope everybody is having an incredible day today and really out enjoying having time with your family and all that good stuff. Today, day three, talking about decisions, proper decision making and how do you know if you are making the right decisions. So we are going to dig into that today. Just a little check in with you guys. How are you doing on your goal setting? How did you do with studying from yesterday? We talked about um, faith versus fear and how to look at how you're, what you're feeling and how that all looks for you and to move over to a place where you can keep moving forward and keep moving towards your goals and accomplishing amazing, amazing things in your life opposed to just kind of being locked up in that stress and anxiety. So. Any questions or comments, I'm loving all of the private messages you guys are sending me and uh, keep those coming, absolutely. And also, um, after today, I wanted to share with you that these videos, anything, any specials that I mention, any of that stuff, all goes away on Tuesday. So, if you are procrastinating, if you had a goal to watch these movies, and these trainings and take notes and dig into it and you haven't yet, you have until Tuesday evening, midnight, to take care of that. So please watch, please ask questions, message, whatever that looks like for you, dig into it. I don't want you to miss out on this stuff. As I mentioned back in uh, Friday, on Friday's training, the material many, many years ago that got me headed in the right direction was free training, just like this one. And if you implement the things that I talked about, if you dig into getting that burning desire goal, and if you work on getting past your stress and your anxiety and your fear of the unknown and move into faith and freedom, and if you make decisions properly in a proper manner, like I am going to talk to you about today, you can have wonderful momentum forward in your life and just based on the things I'm talking to you about today. So please, if you haven't invited friends to watch these that you know will benefit from it, and um, then you guys can talk and bounce ideas off each other and be each other's accountability partners moving forward. Please um, bring them on board before Tuesday, before these all go away. All right, fair enough. All right, decisions. So um, one of my favorite books, Think and Grow Rich by Mr. Napoleon Hill. Um, he uh, wrote the books based on analysis of over 500 of the most successful people to find out what they were doing that was getting them massive results and amazing um, prosperity in their lives that other people were not doing. One of the things that he uh, discovered, which is very important to know, the most successful people make decisions quickly and they change them slowly, if at all. People who are not as successful make up their minds slowly and change their minds fast. So think about that for a minute and sit with that on which category are you in. And so we're going to take that um, apart a little bit more. All day long we have information coming to us. We took this down a little bit yesterday when we were looking at our stick figure and our mind and we just we always have stuff coming in from the newspaper from social media from our friends and people's opinions and they help to drive our decisions based on what we're getting from them and that forms our beliefs and our habits that are of course causing our results and we've already been through this but I just wanted to um, bring that to mind because when we make a decision and it's based on all that outside stuff Stuff, that is not always, it's not necessarily the right decision for you to make for yourself. You know what's in your heart. You now know after doing the work on Friday what your goal is and you are going for it and the people that you are potentially getting advice from don't know that. They weren't on this training 
and they don't know what's in your heart. Nobody knows what's in your heart. Nobody really knows for me what I want, what I crave for my life, and what I am capable of. Not my siblings, my parents never did, my spouse doesn't know, it's me, it's in what's in my heart. So the same for you, okay? So please remember that when you are looking at doing absolutely anything and you're putting it in the computer and you're reading all these opinions of people that you've never met before on what they think that we should do. Uh, just really make sure that you understand clearly that when you're making a decision on all that outside stuff, that is not necessarily the right decision for you. All right, so, and when you do make a decision, when you finally decide to do something, always check in if you are going to do it, is it based on faith or fear? Same with if you're not. Normally, if we are not going to do something, those are usually decisions that we've made slowly and we're gonna go back and forth real quickly. Do I, don't I, do I, don't I? And you're gonna take a poll, a social media poll. You know what I mean. You're gonna ask, you're gonna post, what should I do? What do you guys think? And that is not proper decision making. I want you to ask yourself first and always. We pretty much always know the answer of if we should or if we shouldn't of anything before we ask somebody else. We do know that. So um, I'm going to dig that into that a little bit more. But um, when we decide to even not make a decision, when we defer a decision, I don't know, what do you think? You do whatever you want to do. That too is a decision. And you will often not get what you want. And after a while, you will become frustrated because your results are not there and what you want for you and for your life is not happening and you don't know why, but you've been giving away your power. You've been giving away the decision-making to other people for so long that, and now you have to get it back. Does that make sense? Um, I know that I've done it in the past. It just leads to frustration. So. Indecision is a decision, and you have to live with that. If you make a decision to let somebody else decide for you, whatever they decide, you can't be grumpy about it because that's going to cause other problems. So make a decision. Just say, well, I would prefer this. Speak your mind. You will feel better. At least you know then that you went ahead and you spoke your truth and what you wanted from whatever that situation is, okay? At first, decision-making is hard. We make decisions all day long. Should I hit the snooze button again? Should I brush my teeth right now or have another cup of coffee? Should I have toast or should I have cereal for breakfast? All day long, we make decisions. And yesterday, like we were talking about thinking, that we have to begin thinking. We have to start thinking for ourselves. Do I want to choose this negative thing to think about or do I want to find the positive side of that and think about that? And decision making is the same. Once you've done it for a while, once you've started down the road, you're going to start making decisions. You know why? Because you now have faith. You know you're going to make the right decisions and you know um, that you know where you're going and what you want and you're not gonna be afraid to ask for it and you're not gonna be afraid to go for it. But just like thinking, you must begin. You must start with making a decision. The first decision that I hope or you've made or one of the last decisions I hope you've made is the decision to make your goal through the training on Friday or other means that you have. You must make that decision. If you don't have that decision, if you don't have that roadmap, you don't know where you're going, you're not going to get anywhere. 100%, I promise you that. 100%. So decide. Always decide. Don't ask anybody. Don't. You're here. You're listening to me. You've made a decision to watch these videos, which means you've made a decision to have more and have better. And I am telling you, you can have it. You just have to decide and you have to do the work. You can't decide that you want to make a million dollars a year and then go sit on the couch and eat salty snacks and binge watch a TV show. You must move into action. 
and when it's inspired action, you will do whatever it takes. Okay, are you willing? Are you able? Absolutely, 100%. You are capable and able to do anything that you decide to do. You must decide. Are you willing? That is up to you. You decide. Are you going to do whatever it takes? If you're not going to do whatever it takes to achieve that goal, that is not your right goal. That is a decision you've made. You've maybe picked the wrong goal. Maybe it's too huge. Maybe it's not huge enough and it's not inspiring. But you have to get that goal, decide on the goal that you know that you can decide to do whatever it takes to get there. All decisions. Okay, and then you must write down what you're choosing. Write down your goals. Make those lists, okay? Make those lists. Writing down activates your thinking, your feeling, and your action. That moves you into results. We've talked about this on the previous trainings too, but again, it bears repeating. I want you guys to really make sure that you get this and that you really understand what that is, okay? So, talking to your intuition. When a decision presents itself to you, whatever it is, whatever that very first thing comes to you, that answer, do it. I am 100% positive that when you listen to that intuition, and if it is not hurtful, if is it not disloyal, if it's not illegal, if it's for the greater good of you and your movement towards your goal, it is the right decision. It's when we postpone, we get that feeling, something inside of us goes, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then you're like, um, I'll think about it. As soon as you've done that, your behaviors, your beliefs, your um, lack of faith kicks in. Now you start worrying, well, what if I do do it? What'll go wrong? What if I do do it? What will people say about me? What if I do do it? And you start thinking about all the negative. But what I want you to clearly see and think about is that you can choose the other, right? Polar opposites, the law of polarity. What if you did it? What if that big goal that you came up with this past Friday happened? How would that change your life? When you are making a decision for you about your life and about your goal, you are the only person that knows if each move around along the way is for you. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So what happens when we postpone making the decision, when we make our decision slowly instead of quickly, we are going to start asking people. We are going to start putting it in the search engine, search engine of our computer. And we are going to take the opinions of people we've never met. We are going to ask people who haven't achieved the thing that you are going after what they think you should do. When you really think about it, it's a little bit silly. Okay, I've been giving you permission all week to be silly. This is not one of those things that's silly that I'm giving you permission to do. I'm asking you to not do that one. Make it for you. Because if you make the wrong decision because somebody else told you what to do and you regret it, they're not going to be, oh, sorry, here's the last three years of your life. I'm sorry. Yes, you should have done that. Go do it. That's not going to happen. They're going to go, well, you know, you decided. So just decide. Just decide. I want to give you a really quick example. Um, two years ago, I was overweight. And I went on a diet program. I lost a lot of weight, 65 pounds. If I'm going to throw it out there because somebody's going to be curious. So I don't want you to be roadblocked by that question. So 65 pounds. But I was reading on the internet while I was going through the program. I'd already decided it was for me. I believed in it. I knew I could do it. I wanted to achieve this. Felt right. I did it. But I was looking and there was a lot of people, oh, this doesn't work. And oh, I gained it all right back. And oh, da, 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 da. All of these people are not me. 
I got rid of it. I kept it off. If I'd have listened to those people, if I'd have read that, um, those blogs and, and posts and believed them, I'd probably still be over 200 pounds right now. So what I'm saying is make the decision for you. You will not regret it. I also made the decision many years ago to listen to a free training and do everything they did. And boy, am I glad I did. And I asked nobody. If I'd have mentioned to my dad about the program I took, he would have said, wow, they saw you coming a mile away. There's a sucker born every minute. And all of those little sayings that our parents said, they're not true. If it feels right for you and moves you towards your goal, you must do it. You must launch into awesome action and take charge of your life. We're all adults. We all get to make decisions all the time based on you. So are you ready for the next level of awesome you? I hope so. Um, so if you're going to be in your head, if you're going to be thinking, if you're going to be deciding anything, decide first of all that you are going to make every decision based on you being the absolute best version of you that there has ever been. And consider what happens if you make the decision on the positive side. How amazing would your life be if that decision you made moves you into an amazing place? and make it quickly and make it a decision that you are willing to walk away from once you've decided and be happy with that decision. Don't go back and change your mind. Always make a decision and stick with it. Make it fast because that is your intuition and that's the right answer for you and just move on. Consider you went to a store and you looked at a couch and you love the couch. You sat on the couch in the store. You went, oh, this is the beautiful couch. I love this couch. But then you go home and you think about it and you ask people about it. And you have spent a lot of energy. You knew you wanted the couch the second you sat on it. And if it's something that you could finance, something that you could buy outright, something you really needed and you didn't buy it, then what happens? You go back, the couch is gone. It was the last one. You will never have that couch because you didn't follow your intuition. You took a pull. You've wasted days. You've wasted hours when you could just make a decision, stick with it, and move forward. If you decide to not get the couch, don't think about it and don't talk to people about it anymore. Either run back and get it, phone them, tell them to put it on hold, or just accept that that couch wasn't for you. But don't waste your time don't take a poll. Nobody knows what kind of couch you like to sit on but you. Okay, I really want you to get that. Okay, so when you are deciding to do things, and I'm going to talk about the training this week, if you decide to not do anything after this weekend, and you go back to the you you were last Thursday and not do any of this work, you are going back to that place of comfort. And I need you to ask yourself, is that a comfortable place? Is that really comfort? Because for me, that's not comfort. I want to move forward. And when we move forward, and when we move into that new place towards our goal, it is going to get uncomfortable. We are going to face some fears of the unknown. And that is where our burning desire and our faith in that what we're going after our burning desire that that is just going to launch our lives into awesomeness that faith has to be there and an accountability partner has to be there and that is going to keep you moving forward so all of these things we've been building up over the weekend and the things i've been asking you to work on and suggesting you do is building towards that because you will get to a place of being uncomfortable. It's guaranteed. If you're not uncomfortable going towards your goal, then your goal is probably not big enough because you're doing something that you're comfortable doing. And that's not gonna give you the burning desire. So then we end up in um, a treadmill, the loop, the rat race. We go back to nine to five and sleepwalking through our lives. 
please stop that. <laughs> stop the insanity. I have a little article that I want to read to you guys. This is an awesome book. If you do, don't have it, I recommend you grab it. It's called U Squared, and it's spelled like that. And the author is Price Pritchard. And it's a little skinny book. It's not very big, and each chapter is like one page. This is the chapter on getting uncomfortable. So this is what he says. The normal reaction is to want to hold on tight, but you're not going to have, no, you are going to have to learn to let go to achieve the results you want. So turn loose if you want to jump. Don't be surprised if you grow uneasy. That's a predictable part of the process. When you take the quantum leap, you ride the situation, but you don't control it all that much. In fact, the only way you control it is by knowing where you're going, continuing the pursuit, and learning from your mistakes. A quantum leap is an act of faith, exhilarating and possibly scary all at the same time. You have to give up to a large degree of security and safety and plow through greater amounts of ambiguity and confusion and uncertainty. Wrestle with a totally new set of problems. Invite failure and possibly contend with criticism from other people who have been part of your support group in the past. Does that make you uncomfortable? It's a good sign. So. I'm not even going to finish that. I think you get the point. It's not going to be comfortable, but it's going to be amazing. It's an amazing journey. When you get to the other side, yeah, <laughs> I got no words for you. So make the decisions. You make the decisions for you. Based on your gut, based on that first feeling, and just go do it. Okay? If it's not illegal, if it's not immoral, make it happen. Take the leap, take the leap of faith. All right. So Friday we talked about goal setting and you guys messaged me. I had some amazing conversations and we talked about goals one-on-one. -on -one. That was a lot of fun. Um, I really enjoy those conversations. Yesterday we looked at fear, stress, anxiety, and all of these negative emotions that I hear so much about from, from you. And I read it on social media and posts. And that is one of the reasons why I'm doing this free training this weekend. I want to reach out and I want everybody to have faith. I want everybody to know that you can choose to think and feel differently, which is a better way and move forward and have an incredible, amazing life, no matter what is happening in our external circumstances. We are our only problem. We are our only solution. And now I've given you some tools to fix that solution. Today we talked about decision. You make the decision for you. Don't take a poll. Don't take advice from people that aren't at the place you are headed to, to your goal or at least somebody who is on their way and understands a little bit what you're going through and where you're heading and they can guide you and give you advice and encourage you to continue through that uncomfortableness into the amazingness. So um, that is what we covered off this week and, and, <laughs> and so um, I just wanted to go through that with you. So, I would like to invite you to close your eyes and take three deep breaths. Just breathe in and out. I want you to just totally relax and let everything go. All right, are you doing it? One more. Perfect, good, okay. We've climbed a mountain this weekend. Congratulations and thank you for sticking with me and being here and being such an incredible, amazing um, bunch of students. I want to now talk to you about three decisions. 
and check in with yourself. Ask yourself, as I ask these questions, how do you feel about them and which is the right decision for you? There is no right or wrong answer, except for the answer that you get for yourself. You now have three choices that I am going to present in front of you. The first one is, we say goodbye today. You walk away, you don't implement what I've talked about, and that's okay. If it's not for you, I understand. And I wish you well, and I wish you love and peace. The second choice is that you take all of the material, all of the information I've given to you today, and you implement it, and you work it, and you go through it like a scientist. You find an accountability partner, you do the writing, the 30-day challenge, you always look when you have fear, you sit down and you logically look at it, where is it coming from? And find the opposite, find the faith, find the knowledge, and find out that you have nothing to fear. The fear is its own thing and it doesn't need to be there. You don't need to be anxious and stressed, worrying about something that hasn't happened yet. All right, have faith, have excitement about something that hasn't happened yet. And so you can take all of that and you can move forward. And I know that if you do the things that I am suggesting you do, then you're going to have great results. And I wish you well. And the third thing that you can do is I want to invite every single one of you. And I know I'm talking about hundreds of you. Um, smash the message button. I want to offer every single one of you guys a 30 minute one on one conversation and I'm going to try and take care of them all myself <laughs> and I may pass them over to some teammates but if I can I will 30 minutes 100% about you I will not be salesy on the 30 minute phone call with you I want to talk to you about the goal you wrote on on Friday and about what blocks you have and how we can talk about you moving forward. I've had many conversations already with a bunch of you guys over the last three days. If you are one of those people and you're listening to this video in here, please feel free if you're comfortable with it to put a message down below and let the people that are deciding whether or not to do the 30 minute conversation with me know that we talked about you. Let them know, be honest, I'm not asking you to say something that's not true, but um, I am not salesy. I don't know if I can help you. I don't know if you want my help. I just wanna to talk to you about your goal right now. And then whatever happens, happens. But this is about you, it's not about me, okay? So that is your third decision. So you can walk away and do nothing, go back to comfort, and that's fine and I wish you love. You can take everything I've taught you this weekend and you can knock it out of the park on your own. And if you have that drive and if you're one of those people that are self-starters and can do that, go for it. The one thing I wanna caution you about is if you find a month from now that you are not smashing it anymore, please call me. I will always be here. Send me a message, come find me, okay? And we'll have that talk. The third thing, let's get on a phone conversation. Yes, I have a six month program and it's 12 lessons that I run my clients through. And if that's something you wanna talk about, I will talk to you about that too. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. I love working with my clients. I handpick my clients. So um, I'm not selling because again, we don't know. And uh, I just want you to have an amazing day. My gift to you is the 30 minute one-on-one -on -one conversation. That is my gift for you. And that expires at midnight on Tuesday. If you are interested at all in booking that, even if we can't get on it before the end of the day, Tuesday, we'll book it forward. But if you call me Wednesday morning, I'm sorry, not gonna happen. You gotta do it. Don't procrastinate. Cause right now this very second, as I am saying this, you already know what you wanna do. So just do it. Do it what's best for you, okay? All right, I have had an amazing time this weekend talking with you guys. 
I hope that the conversations that I've started, we continue because you guys are an amazing group out there. And I love hearing all your amazing, inspiring stories and helping you guys to break through those barriers and get you moving into more and better. Okay, happy holidays. If you're celebrating the holidays, wherever you are, I hope you are warm, you are comfortable, you have a full belly, a song in your heart, and happy thoughts for your future. Take care. I wish you all well. Bye for now.